Well, good morning, family. It is another lovely day here on the homestead, and we have our first real snow day of 2022. So I'm just going to take you along today and um, show you kind of life here in Maine on a beautiful winter day and a day where we have no power. So this is um, ops normal for here in Maine and um, we're, we're pretty used to it. So I'm excited to take you along and give you some ideas and inspiration for what to do on a uh, winter day or any day where maybe you don't have power, some things to cook and things to do. We're just gonna kind of tidy up around the house as best we can, get in some good snuggles and go outside and play in the snow. And of course, use our wood stove to prepare lunch and dinner. All right, let's go. So the babies are finally awake and just got done feeding them and some of the kids are outside playing already. Travis is out uh, snow plowing. As you can see, I've got a little pile of dishes that we did not prepare for last night. So I'm going to heat up some water on the stove, get to washing those and finish cleaning up the rest of the kitchen. And then we are going to kind of prepare some lunch. Now I have a bunch of food that I had made uh, yesterday. So like we're not without food. However, our fridge is without power and unfortunately it's going cold pretty quick or not going cold, going warm pretty quick. So some of those things are outside on the porch um, to keep them fresh and, and cold, as cold as we can get them. Um, but some of the other things like the ground beef and other extra meat that I have in the fridge, it's going to be better if I can actually cook those today and then keep them as uh, leftovers and we'll, we'll go through them. So we're going to uh, cook some things up today. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do just yet exactly for um, all of you know, the food that we've got, but yeah, let's see where we end up. So we're pretty lucky to have a propane stove, like a propane cooktop. And that was one of our requirements for whenever we bought our new house, because our old house actually had an electric stove and that was awful, but I grew up with a propane stove. So I knew that we needed that, especially living in Maine. So we've got that and um, with the electricity out, we have to use the lighter to start it, but it works. And so I just boiled some potable water that we had and added it to the clean side of my sink with some dish soap and got those dishes going and I didn't record it, but I also had another pot of clean water that I was using to rinse those soapy dishes off with takes a little bit longer, but it's worth it to kind of get that mess out of the way. And then after that, I started with making lunch and just kind of going through the uh, fridge with what food or actually the porch with what food needed to get used. And I had some of this ground beef in there and yeah, it looks a little off color, but that's just because the oxygen's getting to it. It's, it's not that it's bad or anything. It, it was still just fine. So I added that and some onions to my big Dutch oven and set them on the very hot wood stove and it gave it a nice sear and you can see it's all cooked through. So we just use that throughout the day. The baby ate some and Travis ate some. And then I also had a butternut squash that 
I wanted to get cooked up because it was getting a little bit soft and you'll notice here I had an outfit change because I am a mom to littles and still get spit up on and all that. So there'll be multiple outfit changes as there usually is during the day. No power doesn't change that. So all I did was oil up the butternut squash and put a little bit of salt and pepper on it and just flipped it over so that the meat of the butternut squash was touching the cast iron and set that on the um, wood stove. So again, that could sear and I tented it to kind of trap all that heat and steam in there and it really didn't take long at all to cook. So I kept going and um, you know, doing some tidying up. Oh, I hate this drawer. I have multiple drawers for spices and I just can never seem to get it organized. So if you guys have any ideas for organization of your spice drawers, let me know down in the comments. And then the rest of the kitchen still needed some tidying up. So I of course was getting to that and we have a couple iPads. We have one kiddo with autism and screens are kind of his escape and his way to relax and stim. So we have a couple iPads that they get to use that were charged and so I was just cleaning the peanut butter fingers off of those. <laughs> oh, life as a mom, you know. So here I am just scrubbing the counter and <laughs> getting things as clean as possible because nobody likes a messy kitchen. how confident my husband is <laughs> in our abilities. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you just heard him there, but he's like, yeah, we could do this. We could live without power. Ah, uh, yes, we could. And yes, it would take some getting used to, but we are eventually planning to get solar here on the homestead and uh, be more self-sufficient in those ways. And sometimes it's a nice break from everything else to not have power. One of the things I actually love about not having power is really getting to use your noodle. So my butter wasn't softened to room temperature because it had been out on the porch in the snow trying to keep it cold. Um, so I just used the bottom of our uh, little coffee pot there just to warm it up and I mean it melted it a little bit in that cast iron but I knew that wasn't going to be an issue. It's all going to bake nicely. It's going to bake um, not low and slow exactly, but it's going to bake different. That butter is just going to get incorporated and it's just totally fine. So I had this like half package of um, cookie mix in our pantry and I was just like, you know, we're going to be without power for a bit. And these kids are going to uh, start going through a little bit of withdrawals when it comes to screen time. So what makes things better, food and sweets and treats. So I thought it would just be a really nice um, little treat for them after dinner. And of course, using things up in our pantry that were either open or um, going bad, you know, things like that. And uh, so all I did was just mix it together with the package directions and tented it with a tin foil so that we would keep some of that heat in there so that then this uh, skillet acts kind of like an oven and then just pop that on the wood stove. 
How are we eating? Mom's cooking everything on a wood stove right now. He's asking them because they didn't have plastic utensils, is what oh. he's saying. Well, they use metal, they just wash their stuff. Like, I could go up to the well and pick up a five gallon pail of water, and we could boil water on the stove. Just like I cleaned yesterday. And just like that, our cookie came out deliciously. It certainly took a lot longer on the wood stove, um, but it came out just like regular, regular cookie. And for lunch, we had some bacon. We kind of just nitpicked at things that we had in the fridge. I think we had like bacon and blueberries and, you know, just kind of those things, those kinds of odds and ends. Um, of course, with our family, it's more of a snack because there's so many of us. So just cooked up what bacon we had. And that squash cooked up beautifully. So when that was done and I could hear it sizzling on the wood stove, I just grabbed my fork and kind of touched the tops to make sure that it was bouncy and soft and then I could easily peel that skin back and then I just got the meat from it and put it into a bowl, put it in there with some butter and some brown sugar, mixed it up and set it aside for dinner. And it's okay that it kind of cooled down before we had dinner because the chicken that we're having with it is gonna be hot and going right on top. Pull, sissy, pull! You ready? Yes, you can! Pull, pull, pull! You wanna film Eli? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Watch your feet. Put your feet inside. And someone took our sleigh. Ready? Diesel. After we had some fun outside with the kids while the baby was napping, I came back in and I had thrown these chicken breasts into a pot with some beef broth and some oregano, salt, pepper, and a bit of garlic powder and covered it with tin foil. You could totally use a lid on this as well. And I just let it go on the wood stove all day and, you know, checked it periodically to see how it was internally for a temperature and it shredded beautifully and so we had this chicken on top of our butternut squash for our dinner and it was absolutely delicious. Just another example of how you can take these really easy to cook items and uh, have fun and get creative with the wood stove and winter cooking. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and the winter cooking without power. I anticipate that we're going to have many more of these videos this year coming your way. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm making new videos every week on cooking in cast iron and this kind of homestead life that we're living. And I would love to have you following along. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.